everybody! It's Kathy Canes here and I am so happy to be here on the Creative Scrapbooker Magazine blog for a Facebook Live. Today's my birthday and um, I am 37 years old. I actually live on the east coast of Canada and we had no snow a week ago. I could see the grass and now we have so much snow like I feel like we will never, never see the grass again. My family and I are going to um, Florida a couple days after Christmas. My daughter is doing a gymnastics competition and so we're all going to join her. So I big time have sunshine on my mind. I've had this Facebook Live planned with um, Jackie for a little while now and um, I get the luxury of doing whatever I like. So um, today I really wanted to show you what my style. And oh, thank you. And my style is um, a little bit clean. Um, I like things centered. I like things with a little bit of pop here and there. So um, I wanted to show you a uh, something that kind of reflects me since today is the anniversary of my birth 37 years ago. So I'm just going to make sure that everything kind of worked out here. Um, I have another screen over there. I'm just going to make sure that that works out and I'm horizontal and then I'm going to flip you over and we'll get started. So one sec. The sun did come out today, by the way, and I'm pretty sure that everybody in Newfoundland can thank me. Because it's my lucky day, I think. My son has his Christmas concert today. It was postponed from snow last night. All right, let me see. So that's at five o'clock and should be a real treat. Ah, there I am. So I'm in my craft room and I actually call it in the cat cave. So you can find me on the Creative Scrapbooker magazine blog every Monday, the first Monday of every month. And I usually showcase Stampin' Up! products as I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. In actual fact, I am, have been part of the artisan design team for the past two years. So I am very, very happy to share my love of Stampin' Up! products with you and with every month with Creative Scrapbooker. And um, yeah, so let's see. Did you say you're in Newfoundland? I sure am, Laura. I am in St. John's, but uh, yeah, I'm in Newfoundland and I'm very proud of it. It's so beautiful, but there is a lot of snow. So I'm gonna flip you over, which will be a little bit awkward and I'll get you all set up, but I promise it'll be worth it. One second. So yeah, you can see a little bit of my craft room. Let's get you all set up. Sorry for the jigging, I know and there's no easy way to really do it. So here is the card I'm gonna do. And this actually comes from the Stampin' Up! stamp set, So Santa. And if you follow along with me, you will know that I am a lover of anything that you can color and anything cutesy. So I really, really love cutesy things. So this stamp set was totally up my alley. And since today we're literally digging out again for the second time this week, I'm really starting to look forward to Florida. So I thought I'd use this. Again, this is um, very, very my style. You'll see a lot of my cards kind of look like watercolored with a little bit of um, embossing, black embossing there. But I don't see any reason why I should change. So let's get started. This is the Stamparatus that um, Stampin' Up! has and I love it. It is a stamp placement tool, of course. Okay, so this here is three and a half by four, nope, 
Yep, by four three fourths. So that's watercolor paper. And I'm using um, this Stamparatus tool because I know that watercolor paper doesn't always stamp quite easily for me. So I usually have to do it twice. And this Stamparatus makes it super, super easy to do that. So I'll stamp it once. Oh, I totally have black ink all over that. So use my chamois. That's one of the beauties of this this um, new, what, what do you call it? Cleaning tool, I guess. That's also by Stampin' Up. Now, here's the, here's the thing. I use clear embossing powder. I like to emboss my um, images that I'm going to watercolor. And that is because it gives me a little tiny ridge, so it has a little bit of forgiveness for me. Sorry for the noise. So you can see that even though when I put that clear embossing powder on, the black still comes through nicely. And you're probably wondering why I never used a water based ink. probably wondering why I never used a water-based ink. I use Memento, which is like an archival alcohol-based ink. And that's because you really don't have to as long as you put your embossing powder on right away. Archival does dry really fast, so you have to be super fast when you do it. All right, so now we're gonna watercolor. Here is the thing. On my card, you can tell that I have a little bit of watercolor down on the bottom. And then I've popped up Santa. Can you see that? So I've actually popped him up. So I'm not going to color this dude. He's just going to stay there and act as a little bit of a guide for me. You can watercolor in different, different ways, but I tend to use my Aqua Painter, usually my Stampin' Write markers, which are water-based. But whenever I do backgrounds, I do use the refill inks. So you can use in the Stampin' Up! line. If you want a watercolor, you can use the refillings, you can use your ink pads, or you can use your markers. I like easy. I am the E, I am, I'm not a lazy craft maker, but I certainly like to make things easy. So I have an aqua painter here, which is also known as a water brush. And since I know where I'm gonna put that, that Santa, I'm just gonna kind of go around him. I'm doing this first before I color the other Santa because I need some time for this to dry. It's not gonna stick. If I pop up my colored Santa, it's not gonna stick. Now, in my, in my actual sample, you can actually see that I have crumb cake in here. So I have a little bit of change of color for the sand and I'll do that a little bit later. Um, Here's another thing. Watercoloring is super forgiving. If you look at this and you hate it, take your paper towel, go over top, lift it up. Just take it right up, it's easy. If you want to get it off more, just apply more water and it'll come back up even more, okay? So I'm gonna put mine back in. So that's one, another reason why I like to watercolor and that's because it's crazy forgiving. And here's the thing, I make a lot of mistakes, like a lot. And so um, I try not to worry about it. Like this isn't centered, but again, it doesn't bother me. So I'm gonna lay this aside and let that dry. Now, with the magic of TV, I already stamped another one. So I'm gonna actually color that, but I'm gonna use markers. And you're gonna be like, Kathy, what do you mean you use markers? I'm gonna say, you know, I'm just lazy. And if I wanna watch TV and color at the same time, it's much easier to have my 
packet markers and um, my aqua painter and my um, images and away you go. I do this on airplanes, like everywhere. I take I take my markers everywhere. All right. So I'm going to start with the surfboard. With this is tranquil tide. So you can see I'm just putting a little bit of ink. And if I apply the Aqua Painter right over, it moves that ink around, moves that color where you want it to go. And because I used my clear embossing powder over the image, the water kind of gets trapped between the lines, so you won't see as much bleeding. Are you a Stampin' Up! distributor? Hey, Diane. I am what they call a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And um, I actually don't ship to the U.S., but there's many, many demonstrators in the U.S. And um, the website is stampinup.com, so I will reply to you shortly. Sandra, did you use clear embossing on the second Santa too? I sure did. So I definitely did use it on this one too. Um, and like I said, it, it is a little bit of a trick because... Watercoloring can be frustrating if your ink is not drying. And it does dry fast, like I can tell mine's dry already. I'll just color him a little tiny bit. So, um, I have Santa, he's gonna be um, in a retired color called Blush Blossom. He's my favorite uh, skin tone for this, for this dude. And what I do with my markers is when they retire, because I'm a current Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I like to know um, what's retired and what's current. So this has been retired for years and years and years. It's one of my favorite colors, but um, I keep it because there hasn't been something out there that I like. And inside this Aqua Painter, like I said, is a water brush. If you're unfamiliar, all it is is a base with water in it. Um, it does run out, so you have to refill it up. It's attached to a brush. Every time that I switch to a different color, I have to make sure that the water coming out runs dry. So that way I know that, um, there's no more color left in it and I won't mix things up. So I'm going to use pink on mine. So I kind of carry on like this. It's easier to see on this one than how the colors move. And keep in mind that watercoloring is very forgiving. So if you see that it, the color is not perfect, let it dry, go back in. Always have a paper towel to the side of you in case of major mistakes. And of course, to clear your pen your aqua brush. So Stampin' Up! does sell all of that kind of thing. And there are demonstrators all over the world. It's actually the biggest stamp company in the world. Um, I do scrapbooking a lot as well. So right now I'm doing a December daily. Um, and I really, really enjoy that project. But I do use different, different. Um, I have different ways to do it all. I'm very, very wordy. Since I'm very clean and simple in my card making, I'm the same way in scrapbooking. So you can tell I just pulled the color from the little umbrella and I gave our little Santa some cheeks, some rosy cheeks. Even though he's in um, the sunshine, I am pretty sure that he will have rosy cheeks because I think every Santa should have that. He like maybe he's not even your Santa. You could you could almost use this for like anyone really. You could pretend he's not even Santa. Okay. But for me, he is in my world. Because I'm super looking forward to my vacation. Um it is a vacation but it is a lot for like I say my daughter's sport. 
My daughter is eight years old, and she's a gymnast. And my son, he's six years old, and he is adorable. Like I said, he has a concert tonight, and he had the line. So they have to speak a line, and he has to say, um, more rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. And he just turned six, so he was really struggling with that line. And then, of course, he got sick at the beginning of the week and missed a bunch of rehearsals. So he told me this morning he was nervous. But the teaser, teacher messaged me and said, they're going to change coursers to reindeer, and now he feels a lot better about it. So I'm excited to see that tonight. It's all part of the holiday season, hey? All right, we're almost done here. Uh, maybe I'll put that starfish. Do you know that there's a chocolate chip um, starfish? Yeah, there is. And it's the coolest looking fish, you'd, or starfish, I should say, that you ever did see. Okay, so I am still going to put crumb cake down here. Even though I am going to fussy cut meaning cut all that out. I know that a lot of people are not big fans of fussy cutting, but I tend to like it. If you didn't like it, you could have just colored Santa flat on this the exact same way, okay? Now, you'll notice that I just went in and colored this with the crumb cake marker um, for some sand. Never, never do that unless you know that it's dry. I could tell it's dry. Um, there is some dampness. Another way to tell is by um, touching the paper and if it's still cold and it is still on my back I know that it, there's still a little bit of dampness. So I'm gonna do a little apply a little heat gun to rush the process. It's a little bit hard to see all this I know. Okay now okay with the magic of TV ta-da! I actually already have him cut out, okay? And just as a tip, if you actually are gonna reproduce this card, I did attach a little bit of sand from the starfish to his toe. I didn't wanna be cutting out little things like that starfish. So that's gonna end up like that. Now, I did on this card, you can tell that even though this is still on our, our uh, card, I, popped up the ho 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 and the way that I did that is similar to my clear embossing where I actually took that stamp right off the stamparatus I just found that easier and I popped it on the block I use Versamark now if I'm doing cards in um in bulk, I will do several of these. So you can tell I did several of those down there. I do use an embossing buddy first. I didn't show you that, but I already had. So embossing buddy, buddy just takes the um, static away. So I did that beforehand. Um, and now, the Versamark, you don't have to rush to put your embossing powder on like you do if you used archival ink. And that's because it keeps its stickiness much longer. I'm not actually sure what Versamark is made out of, but um, it takes a lot longer to dry than... Okay, I'm thinking you're going to see an uh, interruption, but I'm hoping it's going to come back. I'm hoping it came back. My mom is FaceTiming me um, because it's my birthday. And I did put Do Not Disturb Always on my phone. But I have an iPhone X. See how I love watching things melt. All right. So my mom is notorious to call back. So I am just going to rush that one through. She probably doesn't know I'm on FaceTime Live. I probably should have told her. But yeah, people are trying to call me today. And I was warned that iPhone X for some reason, doesn't quite work well with the Do Not Disturb. So when you're going on Facebook Live, you really never know what you're gonna come up, you're gonna get hit with. 
And today, I got hit with my mom. Okay, so I'm gonna pop all this up now with dimensionals. And I do have to cut them small <laughs> so that they fit. So I'm gonna put it right over top of the ho ho ho. And same goes with my Santa. I'm gonna put his stuff right over top. Okay. And I'm gonna put them right over top of that first stamp image. Okay. <laughs> I tried, Jackie. I really tried, but I knew. I knew other people were having trouble with their iPhone X. And uh, hey, Dylan, is that how you sp is that how you pronounce it? Dylan, Delon, Delon. Please let me know. Let's see if I'm right. So I knew that there was a possibility I could have an interruption, especially being my birthday. Okay. So now I need to cut the bases so that we can get the card. Have it here. So the layer I have right behind my um, front card there is called Sahara Stand by Stampin' Up. And I actually don't have an exact dimension. I like to cut only a sliver, I say a sliver, um, outside the three and a half cardstock so that you can only see it peeking out. That is kind of how I roll. So I am literally doing, oh, I think I cut it wrong actually. Yeah, I did. So let's redo. I was chatting. So I believe it's three and a half. Let me just make sure. Yep, three and a half by, just like I said, four and three quarters. So I'm gonna go just a little, oh, that's what I did. Three and a half, three and three quarters. All the same thing, tomato, tomato. All right. So I like it when you just see a little smidge. So I'm not gonna tell you an exact direction there. Oh, I just noticed something. What I find is on the Stamparatus where we use magnets, um, it kind of leaves a little mark sometimes. And that same thing goes for um, like sometimes when you're stamping, there's a little tiny mark that is left. Now I'm looking for, I have a little mono eraser. So I'm just gonna give that a little, there you go. And it kind of makes it away, go away. This is called, yeah, a sand eraser by Tombow and it's for ink, it's meant for exactly that. And it's awesome. You definitely need that. So I actually use liquid glue for most of my card making because it's the only thing I trust. <laughs> Oh my, I wanna make sure that that stuff sticks forever and nothing falls off. Okay, now I picked this um, card base, which is so pretty, you actually probably can't even tell, but it comes from the Frosted Floral. It's a, it, while it is a holiday paper, it like is silky. That's the best way I can describe it, um, and shiny and luscious. <laughs> it, it is meant for holiday, a different color, but it, you could use that all year round. And I thought being that we're talking about sunshine, that it would be a nice card base, especially given that um, Santa is surfing. So I did use the four, oh, four by um, five and a quarter for that one. And then I use a traditional card base, which was five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I, um, isn't that neat? This is Stampin' Up's cutter and they actually have um, a, oh gee, what is that called? You know, a scorer, that's what it's called, scoring lines. Um, they have that and the cutter there. So I use thick cardstock by Stampin' Up um, for my card bases. And that's because it just is sturdier. I do not use it for my stamping unless I'm intending to use Stampin' Up's alcohol markers. 
which kind of bleeds through paper, so it's almost necessary. Now, I do like to pop stuff up, so I'm going to use my dimensionals again. And this, my friend, is how I like to make cards. I love to, um, I absolutely love watercoloring, cute images, um, having a little pop here or there. I mean, you know what I could do? I've been doing this all week. I have been putting Santa hats on everything. Stampin' Up! made a, um, see this is what I have. I have a dish of die cuts. So you can see I was coloring school buses and different things, but Stampin' Up! has a, found one. Oh my gosh, right? How cute is that guy? So Stampin' Up! had made a stamp set last year. I think it was called Santa's Suit. And on it was different parts of his suit. And you could hang them on a clothesline if you wanted. Anyways, I've been taking that those hats and I've been putting them on soccer balls and, and basketballs and gymnasts and different things. And a bus, you know? Just to um, get more use out of my uh, everyday stamp sets. And I just put a Santa hat and all of a sudden it's holiday. Hey, Nicole. Oh. <laughs> yes, it is. From Creative Scrapbooker. I love getting my magazine too. So I'm actually going to pop this on just for fun. Because I feel like, why not? Everybody needs a Santa hat, I feel. So thank you so much for joining me today. I, um, you can find more from me at inthecatcave.com and also on um, Instagram. I do a lot of most of my stuff on Instagram on at Kathy Canes. Kathy and Canes are with a C. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks again. Ho, ho, ho. Who needs snow? <laughs> I'm going to go enjoy my birthday. Have a good one. Bye.